What's up guys, it's Kaylin, and in today's video we have my everyday makeup routine right here. This video is probably the most requested video on my channel right now. You guys have been dying to see this look that I've been wearing in pretty much every single video recently, and here it is, obviously, on my face right now. You guys, it is so easy to do. Literally anyone can achieve this look at home. It's so easy, it's so quick, and I definitely think you guys will like it. And if you're someone who doesn't wear lashes every day, which I honestly am not either, I don't wear lashes every single day, you can absolutely just wear mascara and you're good to go as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and let's hop right into it. All right, so I went ahead and I primed my face just because you cannot like tell the difference in my skin with, it, with or without primer. So I use the Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. I really like this because it's supposed to protect your skin against blue light rays from your phone and your computer so I went ahead and applied that but for foundation I have been absolutely loving this foundation it's the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour foundation I got this a few years ago and I started using it again recently and I forgot how good it was it is so good it makes your skin look so fresh and natural like it just I don't know it's amazing you guys have to try it and it's only a few dollars at the drugstore. I do have a tan right now, so my skin's a little bit darker, but I'm in the shade 460 in this golden beige. So now that that's on, I typically do a little bit of color correcting like under my eyes here, just because I have like very dark circles right here. It's not even really like dark circles. My eyes are just kind of like set a little bit deeper there, so it creates a shadow. So I just like to take the Pixie um color correcting cream and i just kind of just pat this into my inner corner here just to kind of brighten it up so that way it's like an extra layer of coverage under my concealer so i'm just going to put a little bit of this in here and take it under my eyes a little bit now that we are color corrected we can go in with concealer now my like all-time go-to favorite concealer is the Too Faced born this way multi sculpting concealer i loved the last Too Faced concealer that they had but they discontinued it and came out with this one and i love this one too so i'm just going to apply a little bit under my eyes chin lips forehead and just a little bit on my nose and then i'm just gonna blend this out with my eco tools sponge but do you guys just feel like makeup has just i don't know maybe it's because i've kind of gotten out of the makeup niche if you guys didn't know i actually started my channel doing makeup tutorials because i love doing makeup but i love doing like simple makeup looks like i was not in the mood to like create all these smoky eye looks i didn't really have a passion for that but I remember like people used to do like the big triangles under their eyes. I feel like makeup has just gotten so much simpler or more simple, whatever the correct grammar is. But I just feel like people don't do as complex of makeup anymore. I don't know, maybe it's because I don't watch like makeup gurus anymore. But I feel like makeup has just like, I don't know, gotten so much more natural like the style of makeup from a few years ago. So I love that. Easy makeup is definitely up my alley. So I am going to cream bronze just because I feel like when I cream bronze, my bronzer just stays a lot longer and all day. So it's super easy to do. It's not anything complex. I just take the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just pretty messy with it. I just kind of just put it on my cheeks here, put it on my forehead, a little bit on my jawline here where it kind of sticks out and under my lips. And I just blend this out with this crown brush. You can just use any dense brush. It's just super easy to blend out, which was one reason why I really like it. All right, so now I'm going to set everything down with powder. But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like take my beauty sponge and just kind of like pat it over my eye again, just because it did kind of crease up there. And I want to blend all that out before I set it down, because we definitely do not want any creases on our eyelids. And the powder that I've been using every single day is this NYX HD Professional Powder. It's in the shade Banana. It is so good. It's so easy to use. I honestly have switched mostly to compact powders now or like pressed powders just because loose powders are so messy. Like they get all over my sink, all over my clothes. So I've been using pressed powders a lot lately and I really like this one. And I like the banana shade because I feel like it's not as bright on your skin. Like it's a little bit more natural rather than like a white powder. And then taking a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to set all the bigger areas of my face. Make sure too to set your neck if you um put foundation on your neck otherwise it'll get all over your clothes and that's not a good look for anybody she's got a point 
cool. Okay, so now it's time to go in with bronzer again. I like a lot of bronzer. My favorite, I know this one's a little bit more expensive, but it is so good. I love the color of it, is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This is in the shade Island Ting. I really like the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer too, but this is... Why? Why do I drop so many things all the time? But this is like my go-to bronzer right now. I honestly just kind of go through phases of like my go-to makeup. But I'm taking it on a brush. It's a little bit more precise. So that way I can just like really get in here. Kind of chisel out my cheeks. And I'm not applying too, too much because like I said, we already have a nice base of cream bronzer. But I do kind of want to define that a little bit more. Kind of push it back in my hairline. Are you kidding me? I just dropped this again. I'm also going to put it on my uh, jawline too, just kind of slim that out a little bit and under my lip again. So I was never really a fan of contouring my nose just because I wasn't, I'm, I'm still not really good at it, but lately I've been doing it. I've been dabbing a little bit in some contour my nose and I really like it actually. Um, I'm no professional. I'm still not very good at it. Get the dog, please. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that same bronzer on a smaller brush and just kind of lightly, you know, outline the sides of my nose. Like I said, I'm no professional. I just kind of lightly do this um, and then just hope for the best. Some days it turns out good, other days it looks horrible. So it's kind of a 50-50 gamble on this one. Hmm, of course today that I'm filming, it's not turning out very good. <laughs> Okay, well, so whenever it looks a little harsh or I don't like absolutely love it, I just take my powder brush and just dab it on top and just kind of like lightly smooth it out. So moving on to blush, I do my face first and then I do my eyes just because the eyes literally take three minutes. I actually use two blushes. The first one I use is this one by Essence. It's their blush lighter. I really like this because it's a really pretty peachy blush. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just apply this almost like right on top of my bronzer like not so much on the apples of my cheeks just like a little bit farther back and then i take another blush i was just saying how simple makeup is now i feel like i'm being complicated um i'm taking the milani baked blush from luminoso we all know this blush i think by now this is a really pretty pinky peachy blush but this one's a lot more intense so i just put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit kind of over my nose. I don't love the super like pink nose look, but I do add a little bit there and down on my cheeks. All right, so after that, I like to clean up my cheeks. I feel like this has made the biggest difference in my makeup lately. So what I do is I just take the same NYX powder and I take my little essence sponge. I really like the essence sponge because it does have this like, you know, sharper edge to it. So I actually just take my essence sponge or no, if I've been saying essence, I meant eco tools. This is not essence. Like eco tool sponge. I just take the powder on it and I just, I just lightly carve out my cheeks here and kind of pull it down. So you want to make sure that they're kind of even. I don't honestly worry about this too much. Just as long as they're close. And then I don't let it sit because I don't want it to be like too intense. So I just take my uh, powder brush and I just kind of lightly brush that away so for highlight honestly i just use whatever i'm feeling that day i don't have like an everyday highlighter i do really like this one though it's the wet and wild precious petals one this one's really good i haven't been liking anything that's too intense lately like i said i feel like i've been liking more of like a natural a natural um makeup look but just something that's not so like in your face gleaming highlight so that's pretty much it for the face i'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows i honestly used to like really take my time on my eyebrows for this everyday kind of like makeup look i honestly i don't take too much time on them i used to carve them out i don't really do that anymore i just kind of like lightly outline them and then fill them in that honestly used to take me like 15 minutes just for my eyebrows and Ain't nobody got time for that anymore. Why is it that when you do your makeup and have absolutely nowhere to go, it is like the best makeup look ever. It's like the best you can ever do it. And then when you actually like have to go somewhere or like I'm filming a video, everything just does not turn out that good. Why is it that always when you need your makeup to look the best, it looks the worst? It's not fair. 
So now for the eyes. The eyes, like I said, are so simple, you guys. Literally, sometimes I just throw on mascara and go. You guys have seen me plenty of times in just mascara. But when I want to do a little extra, what I've been doing lately is I have been wearing lashes more. So when I wear lashes, what I do is I always line my upper lash line with a black eyeliner just because I feel like it makes, you know, the lashes blend a lot better, especially if you're not very good at lashes, just in case they're not right up against your natural lashes. This is going to make it look a lot better. It's going to be a lot easier to apply. So this one's by Stila. It's probably my favorite felt tip liner that I've ever used because it's so small and it actually keeps its structure. So for my everyday lashes, I pretty much have two styles that I wear all the time. I have the Coco lashes in this style 9 to 5. I love these. I think they're great for everyday lashes just because they look like lash extensions. But the lashes that I've been loving lately are the House of Lash Iconic Lights because Target carries them now, which is so exciting that Target carries House of Lashes. I love House of Lashes lashes, they are so good. So I cannot find my tweezers anywhere. Um, so I'm just gonna try to apply these, I guess, with my fingers. Of course, when I'm filming this video, I cannot find my tweezers. All right, that's not, that's not bad, but not good either all right so lashes are on we are almost there you guys we are making progress last thing we have are lips and then we're done so for me personally I don't know I just feel like I love the look of just like a top lash line done I have not really been doing anything on my bottom if I do feel like I need more makeup or I just want like a little change sometimes I will put some mascara like a little bit of eyeshadow mascara down there but on like an everyday basis I just like like a really like flirty you know bold lash top lash line so for lips on an everyday basis when i do this i wear carmex i do not wear anything on my lips but when i am filming i do put on some lips um for a lip liner i love the kylie jenner ice latte lip liner i'm not even gonna lie the only reason i bought this was for the name ice latte because i love ice lattes excellent job on the marketing kylie because got me got me so I'm just gonna lightly line my lips. My favorite lip gloss is in my purse downstairs. Do I get it? No, but if I don't wear that, I always use this one. And this one's actually super, super similar. It's just a little bit more opaque, I would say. So I'm gonna throw this on. This is the Bare Minerals uh, Lip Gloss and Tantalize. It's a little bit on the darker side. And I do kind of blend that over my lip liner too. So I think that wraps up this everyday makeup routine. Hopefully this was everything that you guys wanted and more. Um, this was very, very, very requested. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. When I'm not filming, when I'm just like doing my makeup, this takes me maybe 20 minutes. And like I said, it's a little bit more on the extra side, but you can absolutely leave out the lashes, leave out the cream bronzer, and it's like good to go. It just makes it a little bit more natural and more of an everyday look. I will leave everything that I use in the description box down below. But if you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will definitely answer them. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.